Okay, so let's uh, briefly discuss uh, the momentum space for quantum mechanics. Uh, we will uh, discuss uh, the uh, momentum uh, eigenstate and we will also see how to convert uh, from momentum to position space and from position to momentum space. Okay, so uh, we can define the momentum eigenstates as a state with uh, three uh, components, one uh, linear momentum along each orthogonal direction and uh, we can define momentum operators along the three directions like this, that if we apply with Px, we get Px if we apply with the py hat, we get uh, the value of the momentum along y and so on. And by combining these three operators, we can construct a 3D momentum operator that when this is uh, applied uh, to this momentum eigenstate P, we get Px we get Py and we get Pc later on we will also define uh, momentum magnitude operator in 3D such that when this is applied on the 3D momentum we get the magnitude of momentum out which is the Px square plus Py square plus Pz square square so uh, this is how we can define momentum eigenstate and similar to the position basis we uh, have a similar orthogonal uh, orthogonality property that this position, this momentum space can be written like this, which is nothing but three log delta functions put together. Just like the 3D position space. Okay. So let's now develop uh, the expression for momentum operator. want to find is this, that if we have a, a state psi and we want to operate the momentum operator on this state in the position basis, what's the form of the operator? To do this, we can use uh, the component form of this momentum operator. This is nothing but uh, Px, Py, Pz because we already know how the individual linear momentum operator are defined in the position basis. This is Py plus K. 
So this position, the linear momentum operator along x-axis in position basis is uh, minus iota h cut partial to partial x, and this is r sine, and then this is i unit vector. Similarly, minus iota h cut partial to partial y and sine and y axis and then minus iota h cut partial to partial z r side k and uh, you can take minus iota h cut common and we have i unit vector partial to partial x j unit vector partial to partial y plus k unit vector partial to partial z operating on state in position basis uh, we have a special symbol for this uh, combined vector operator. We call it gradient operator. So we are denoting this by del r psi. So this is the representation of the momentum operator in the position basis. So the momentum vector operator operating at any state psi in position basis is nothing but minus iota h cut del in the uh, on the state psi in position basis okay so let's now see how we can interconvert from one uh, basis to another suppose we want to find a way how to go from position to momentum basis and momentum to position. This is what we are interested in. For that, uh, I can use uh, this expression that we just developed that uh, we have this definition for the momentum operator in position basis is that this is minus delta h cut del r psi. So if we take this state psi to be one of the momentum uh, eigenstate, then this equation becomes uh, T, T, so this is the operator, and minus delta h cut. And let me expand del again, partial partial x, i, partial partial y, j, partial partial z, k, psi in position basis, sorry, not psi, but one of the momentum I can state. Uh, similarly, I can expand this p vector as a px plus py plus z, pz, and if we compare the x, y, and z component uh, from left and right hand side, we get three equation that iota, that px, And P is minus delta h cut partial partial x R P and P Y minus delta h cut partial partial y R to P and P Z minus delta h cut partial partial z like this. So we have these three scalar equations that uh, were obtained from this vector equation and if we can solve uh, one of these we can write the solution of the other two directly. So let me begin by finding solution of this equation. Uh, okay so we can notice that uh, when this px operator applies uh, to this momentum uh, eigenstate 
it gives us px so this becomes px or p and on the right side we have minus iota h cut partial the partial x or p and if I just do a little bit uh, of rearrangement uh, let's bring this minus iota h cut to this side and I will have uh, px over minus iota h cut dx let me bring this del x on this side and let's take this part there so we have b r p over r p and I can take this uh, iota on top so then this will become plus and we will have iota h cut dx dx This. And if we integrate uh, on both sides, we have iota h cut dx x log this, and maybe I can add uh, a constant of integration over here. And if we take exponential on both sides, we get exponential c x iota h cut dx x. This are uh, let's let's write this constant sum k1 and we can normalize this uh, uh, momentum space uh, this this state and this k1 comes out to be 2 pi h cut this exponential k of power. So this is what we get by solving the first equation. Similarly, if we solve uh, these two equations, we get 2 pi h cut p iota h cut py y 1 over 2 pi h cut iota h cut p z z. Now we have three expressions for presumably the same function, uh, but in fact these three expressions give us different spatial dependences of this function. So this is the uh, x dependence of this function, this is the y dependence of this function and this is the z dependence of this function. And if this function have to satisfy this equation at the same time, then we have to have uh, a form of this function which is the product of these three solutions so that uh, when we substitute here the, the respective uh, z, y and x uh, functions can satisfy the equations uh, uh, individually over here. Therefore, we have a combined representation uh, this function as 1 over 2 pi h cut 3 by 2 exponential iota h cut dxx exponential iota h cut dyy exponential iota h cut dcc or we can combine them together and this is common so we have p dot r because this r vector is x plus uh, x along x axis plus y plus z and this p is px plus py plus pz so this dot product is uh, pxx plus pyy plus pzz. So this is uh, our functional form which can take us from one space to another. And let's see how. For example, we have a state psi in position space like this. Okay. 
and uh, we want to project it into momentum space. So in momentum space, we will get T R like this and this T dot R is nothing but the complex conjugate of this. So we get 1 over this and this, this P R is the conjugate of this exponential minus iota h cut P dot R So this equation takes us from uh, a state psi in position space to a state psi in momentum space. Similarly, if you begin with a state psi in momentum space and you project into position space, you can get 2 by h 3 by 2 exponential plus theta h cut p dot r p psi d q so this is the Fourier transform pair from the position space to momentum space and back